Today we're back looking at cool bass licks that we can steal and add to our own vocabulary. This time we're checking out the Stevie Wonder track, Do I Do. Released in 1982 as a bonus track on a compilation album, the track actually features a trumpet solo from none other than jazz great Dizzy Gillespie. But we're here for the bass, so take a listen. Girl, do I do? This track is full of great bass playing from the legendary Nathan Watts, but the chorus bass line is particularly good and a real challenge, so let's check it out. Do I do? So in this tune, I think the bass is tuned to E flat standard, so that's everything down one semitone. E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat. So here's how you play it. First of all, we slide from the seventh fret to the ninth fret and then back again. Then down the pentatonic scale, five, seven on the next string. So then we go up a perfect fourth to the seventh fret and then down to the fifth and then on the next string, seven and five and then up a perfect fourth again and then down the scale seven five all together and then the last bit is just five six seven on the a string all together so this is really challenging to play and that's because of those perfect fourth intervals. So you might have your own system for dealing with this, but this is how I do it. So try this. So I use my little finger here, first finger, then third finger, and then I've got my little finger free to go back up to this perfect fourth. And then down again, and here's my first finger. So I'm just using this pressure roll. And then down again, and I'm using my first finger again to pressure roll onto the D. So to make this bass line really come alive, you can add the accents to certain notes. Here's how I like to do it. So when you play this along with a record, you'll realize that it's very difficult to play at full speed. So I like to use something called the additive method, which is just taking a few notes at a time and working on that and getting that up to speed before adding another note and adding another note. For example. Just getting that up to speed and then going. And adding another. You'll know when you've achieved mastery when you can play this at full speed and it just feels like butter under your fingers. So once you've got it down, you can then take it and use it in a different track. And you can use this in major or minor. So for major, the root note would be there. Or minor, the root note would be there. So in a major key, you could say that it's part of the major blues scale. And in a minor key, you could say it's part of the regular blues scale. So I'm going to try and use this as a fill in another Stevie Wonder song, Superstition. This track is in E flat, so I'm going to keep the bass in the same tuning. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, uh, consider watching some of my other videos. Bye.